Thanks for staying with us. And now we get you an exclusive news break on India's chase for Zakir Naik and Malaysian government's support for the hate preacher. A Malaysian MP has come out and slammed his own government over the ambiguous stand on Zakir Naik. A Democratic Party MP Ramkarpal Singh has spoken to my colleague Anilesh Kumar and has said that the government in Malaysia should take a strong stand on Zakir Naik. Listen in. Well, that seems to be the uh, position taken by the government. Um, last week, I think, uh, the foreign uh, minister had confirmed that that is the position. Although I, I had raised in parliament last week, uh, you know, the, the status of uh, Zaki Naik, you know, on the question of uh, India's uh, supported uh, application to extradite him back to India. And that was his response. Right. So why do you think the government is uh, looking confused at the moment? Because we have seen the Prime Minister at one point of time supporting Zakir Naik. Then he was considering about rescinding his uh, residence status. Then again, he takes a different position, takes a U-turn. Then the Minister of Sports in Malaysia, he comes against Zakir Naik, takes a U-turn. What is going on there? It's very difficult to understand ministers coming out, speaking against Zakir Naik and then going back. Of course, uh, you know, there has been a uh, controversy, I think, uh, you know, behind the uh, Zakir Naik issue. And I think uh, something, you know, there's been a lot of uncertainty, which has uh, resulted in a lot of confusion, you know, as to his status. And I think, uh, and, I mean, the reality of it is that uh, last week, that's what the foreign minister confirmed. So as we stand at this point of time, that is, that is the position of the Malaysian government. Right. So how are you going to take this issue further, uh, Mr. Sain? Well, of course, you know, like I said, uh, I, I agree with the matter in Parliament um, as early as last week, as recent as last week. And, uh, you know, I, I will continue uh, doing my part, you know, to push the, the issue in Parliament. I think it's necessary for... Um, you know, the, the government to, to make a strong stand rather than, uh, you know, a stand which uh, has created so much, so much confusion. And Anilesh joins us on the phone line for more. Anilesh, uh, you know, it's almost as if this uh, Democratic Party MP is questioning the government, is asking the government, the Malaysian government, to clear its stance on Zakir Naik. And that's exactly the problem here because, like you were also rightly pointing out in the conversation, uh, they've taken a different turn every few months. Why exactly is this happening? You can't sound so confused about a hate preacher like Zakir Naik. Absolutely. It's very difficult to understand why the Prime Minister feels or seems very, very weak when it comes to tackling Zakir Naik. We have seen at one point of time that there were uh, Malaysian police grilling Zakir Naik over his alleged hate speech against Hindus and Chinese community living there. What is important here to understand is the uh, foreign minister, is the Ministry uh, of External Affairs from Malaysia, have made it very clear that they are not going to extradite Zakir Naik. And that has precipitated a sort of anger among many ministers in the Dr. Mahathir Mohamed cabinet in Malaysia, who have been pushing for expulsion of this controversial preacher from day one, or at least ever since he made statements regarding Indians living in Malaysia. What is difficult to understand here is that every few months you see a U-turn right from the Ministry of External Affairs to the office of the Prime Minister to other ministers. You, you know, you have also been following the story. If you remember, the Minister of uh, Sports in Malaysia at one point of time slammed Zakir Naik. Other day we see him hosting Zakir Naik over there. So it's very difficult to understand what the government tries to do. Some in clarity fact, we may. In fact, Anilesh, uh, the Malaysian government at one point in time also said that it is just a matter of few months uh, that we're looking at Zakir Naik's extradition. That's the kind of uh, U-turns that the Malaysian government has really been taking. But Anlesh, thank you for joining us with those details.